take on the New England Patriots. No one more excited than the fans. Big time. Mola Lane joins us live from Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta with more. Good morning, Mola. Guys, your excitement has certainly given the fans a run for their money. I love the excitement <laughs> over there. Uh, you know, we are at the fan uh, experience facility here adjacent to Mercedes-Benz Stadium, obviously home of Super Bowl 53. This place is, you know, fandom on steroids. Everything <laughs> that you can imagine is here for our fans. It's going to be flooded with fans in, in just yeah. a, 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 in a few uh, hours. Thousands of fans come in here. This is sort of the calm before the storm, but they can enjoy everything from simulated locker rooms. They can run football drills. You've got nice. uh, Super Bowl ring exhibits and so much more. Uh, and of course, as we get closer to Super Bowl Sunday, the fans, the crowds, the excitement, the hype only gets bigger. Inches closer, football fans are flocking to Atlanta. Come on down. With plenty of spirit. Go Patriots! You'll hear a lot of that. What? And see a lot of this. I made these. You made those? Yes, wow. yes. Impressive. Lynn Ann Archambeau was a Patriots fan, head to toe, inside and out. Oh, I grew up with the Patriots, the Bruins, the Red Sox, the Celtics. I love them all. Caitlin Brandon grew up in Charlotte playing softball, but she can sling a pigskin as well as anyone here. For Caitlin, visiting the interactive NFL experience is mostly about staying active. I have ADHD, so like when I like, I can't stay still. It seems Super Bowl week will keep her busy. Uh, we're going to ride the Ferris wheel. We're going to do like this all today and maybe Friday like to see what we didn't like get to. Let's go. And there's a lot to get to from meeting NFL Hall of Famers to the live music to the games. You won. Hey, you both won? Yeah. Super Bowl Sunday might be about the teams on the field, but this week is all about the fans. Well, most of the fans who are coming down here to enjoy the week-long festivities won't actually be going to the game. As you guys oh, can imagine, yeah. ticket prices are often an obstacle for a lot of fans. Uh, according to StubHub, there are fewer than 3,000 tickets that are still available for the game. The average price on those tickets? $4,400 a pop. Yikes! That's yes. the average price. I was just tickets. looking up tickets. Yeah, not cheap for those tickets. Uh, was there any reporter involvement the last couple of days, Mola? Like, you know, did you try the interactive uh, <laughs> throwing or locker room fun there? Well, guys, I got a lot of work to do, so you know, I don't want to pull any muscles. I don't want to go home limping or anything like that. Right. So it's, you know, plus it's early in the morning. You yeah, might, you yeah. Know, it's, you're, you're still kind of waking up, so you know, maybe maybe when this whole thing is said and done, yeah. Okay. Oh, we totally understand. We'll, yeah. we'll be looking at your social media to see yes. if anything changes between now and Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> Thanks, Paula. Appreciate your time this morning. <laughs> good nice, stuff. nice. You know, I was looking at the weather for 